Hello boys and girls. Welcome to today's lesson about the mysteries of ancient Egyptian architecture. Ancient Egypt was a civilization that existed thousands of years ago in northern Africa. It is famous for mummies, pharaohs, the pyramids, and hieroglyphics. It is one of the oldest civilizations ever to, to have existed. In today's lesson, we will discuss the architecture of ancient Egypt. Below here is a video from YouTube that gives you some examples of ancient Egyptian architecture. If you have the time or the opportunity, give it a look. Since Egypt is located in a desert, there is not much wood available for building. As a result, the main materials used in Egyptian architecture were mud bricks and stone. The main types of stones used in Egyptian buildings were limestone, sandstone, and granite. Egyptian houses were made of mud taken from the Nile River. When left to bake in the sun, the mud would harden and become acceptable to use for construction. Following now are some examples of these stones used in Egyptian architecture. Here we have some limestone. This is an example of sandstone. And here is an example of granite. Now some of you may have seen granite before. It's often used for countertops in kitchens. So, let's talk about the different styles of Egyptian architecture. The walls, columns, and piers of ancient Egyptian buildings were often covered in hieroglyphics, which was the written language of ancient Egypt. Many Egyptian structures were also decorated with pictures of scarabs, vultures, palm leaves, or the papyrus plant. All of these, these things had a symbolic meaning to Egyptians. Here we have some examples of columns. And here is an example of Egyptian hieroglyphics. The Pyramids of Giza. One of the most famous examples of ancient Egyptian architecture are the pyramids of Giza. They were built as tombs for the pharaohs, the kings of ancient Egypt. The oldest and largest pyramid, called the Great Pyramid of Giza, was built around 2580 BC. The pyramids serve as evidence of how advanced Egyptian architecture was during its time. The Great Pyramid was over 480 feet tall. Here's a modern picture of the Great Pyramid of Giza. The Sphinx. Another famous example of Egyptian architecture is the Sphinx. The statue depicts a mythical creature representing the body of a lion with the head of a human. The Sphinx is over 66 feet tall and 63 feet wide. Many Egyptologists, who are scientists that study ancient Egypt, disagree over when the Sphinx was built. However, it is generally believed to have been constructed between 2558 and 2532 BC. Throughout history, the Sphinx has been worshipped and visited by many people. Even Napoleon made sure to see it. Here are some pictures of the Sphinx. As you can see, it's very close to the Great Pyramid. The Luxor Temple. Luxor Temple is a massive temple complex built near the Nile River. It was built around 1400 BC. Altogether, the area is home to six temples. The temples were built mostly with sandstone. The temples were used to hold many religious festivals and important things to ancient Egyptians. Here are some pictures of Luxor Temple. All right, thank you for taking the time to view the lesson. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me. Thanks again. Bye.